Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm here with my 2021 reading goals. As you guys can tell, this is going to be a quick video because I do not have too many specific goals that I want to get into, that I want to achieve in 2021. In this video, I will be talking about some bookish goals that I have, but also definitely some content goals, some channel goals, stuff like that. So let's just get right into the video. And I wrote down the things on my iPad, so I will have a look at that. <laughs> so I do participate in the Goodreads challenge, which is a challenge in which you specify the amount of books that you want to read in that year. If you've been following my channel for a little while, you know that I'm quite a slow reader, but also a mood reader, meaning that I don't read as many books as other like book lovers, booktubers do. Some people have a goal to read 100 or even 150 or even more books a year. That's never gonna happen with me. I mean, never say never, as Justin Bieber would say himself. <laughs> but my highest goal until so far has always been like 35 books because I never know what the year is gonna bring me. But I think 2021 will be quite a calm year in which I can focus a lot on my reading. So I've put a goal for myself to read 52 books in 2021. I've never set such a high goal for myself, but I think it's going to be doable. I have so much more time off because I have a little bit of like a gap year situation going on, but also I plan on reading short stories, novels in verse, and also graphic novels, which are books that you can quite easily get through. And then the second bookish goal that I have is a bit more of like a difficult, challenging situation for me, and that is to catch up with all of the series that I'm currently reading. I am so bad at finishing the series that I start reading, but I made some progress in 2020 with that. So let's hope I can continue that success in 2021. I will make a separate video of all the series that I want to complete or like catch up with this year. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. I think that would be a really fun video. And those are all the bookish goals that I have. Not super specific, but I was thinking of making a books I want to read in 2021 list. But then I was like, those are literally all the physical books that are on my TBR because my physical TBR is getting out of hand. It has been for a couple of years already. Now let's go on to more of my channel goals and one series that I desperately need and want to film this year is Sabine's Cooknook. If you have watched me in a couple of live shows, I've already hinted at this series and me wanting to start it for a couple of months already, but I'm pushing through with it. And in this series, I want to recreate dishes that have been mentioned in the books that I've been reading. So if you guys have any recommendations or suggestions for books and dishes that you want to see me try and recreate in that video series, then please let me know in the comments down below. Goal number four is to also upload one video every single week, especially during my gap year. Again, for some content creators, this is super easy and they already do this. But over the last years, I have been uploading consistently, not consistently, consistently again, because life was busy and now it's not. <laughs> so hopefully I will have lots of time to create content and I'm even hoping that I could post two videos a week. That would be insane. Goal number five is a very simple one, and that is just to restyle my channel. I've had like this channel banner and this profile picture for about two and a half years since Leora from Books with Leo created it for me. She did an amazing job with designing how my channel looks right now, and I'm so happy with it, but it has been two and a half years since I did that, and I and my channel, we've both evolved in those two and a half years, so I feel like it's time to refresh it. Last goal already? is I think maybe the most important, exciting, scary goal that I could think of for myself, and that is to register myself and Sabine's Booknook at the Kamer van Koophandel. What is it called in English? I don't know what it's called in English, but it is so that I can registrate myself as like a small business, like officially, officially do that. I might want to try to do some like freelance work. That would be so cool with trying to design thumbnails or trying to design also like channels for people and also my Etsy business and everything around that. I could grow that in 2021. That would be so cool and something that I definitely want to invest my time in. And those are all of the goals that I have. I know that they aren't much, but they are things that I definitely want to try and achieve in 2021. Let me know in the comments down below what your goals are for this year, reading wise, personally wise, your personal goals. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or in the button down below and hopefully I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!